want to tell you about one of the most humiliating experiences of my life. I was a teenager, I was at youth camp, and I had been asked to volunteer to take the love test. Well, I was an eager volunteer, not knowing what I was getting into, but I quickly found out I didn't like the love test. It embarrassed me, it made me uncomfortable. The love test confronted me. Taking the love test helped prove in my own mind that um, perhaps I was not as loving as I assumed that I was. Just being a Christian, of course, makes me a loving person, right? <laughs> but you take the love test today. Open up your Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and where you find the word love, or you replace it with your own name or your pronoun that refers to you. Let me show you how to do this. <laughs> Labriska is patient and kind. Labriska does not ever envy. Labriska does not parade herself and is not ever puffed up. No arrogance, no pride here. Ah, Labriska never behaves rudely. She doesn't seek her own. Wait a minute. Labriska is not easily provoked. I think one version says is not touchy. Hmm. Labriska does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. She bears all things. She believes all things. She hopes all things. Labriska endures all things. Labriska never fails. <laughs> you can see why. The love test is it's quite confrontational there. But you understand that we are in a day, in an age right now, where God is allowing us to be confronted with love test here and there along our journey. And we need to see these tests as the opportunity to prove ourselves as those vessels who have received the love of God and are happily and cheerfully and joyfully giving out the love of God to others. Why? To glorify God and to be the bride who is ready for her very soon coming King. We used to put scripture to song a lot back in the day. And there was one bit of scripture we put to song. It helps you remember the word of God when you put it to music like that. It was 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 and 8, which say, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God. For God is love, beloved, let us love one another. That's the day we live in. Peter told us, as these last days draw near, it is increasingly important that we are one, diligent in our prayers, and two, fervent in our love for one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loves knows God.